first type of project i would like you to build is a crud application so what is this crud crud means create read update and delete consider one book application uh, where you have to enter book name uh, as well as uh, author name so in this particular thing uh, create part uh, would cover uh, that uh, entering the name of uh, book uh, as well as the author once that create operation is done you can go ahead and you can display that particular book so that is read operation where you are going to list down all the books are available in this particular application once that is done you can edit that particular book where you can put two fields of editing author name as well as book name so once that particular thing is done you can delete the book and that completes this crud operations so building this kind of small project is going to make you understand entire working of that particular programming language or a project so building simple crud application is going to give you lots of idea about how to go ahead and build one project second type of project i would like you to build is uh, build a project which involves external api so what is this external api just think that uh, you are building one application uh, where you need data from some other company example you don't have any idea what is the weather in uh, maybe los angeles uh, or in new delhi so the best thing to do that particular thing would be to ask one external provider who have all the data related to all the weather information so there are so many weather apis are available out there you can go ahead and you can sign up for it and once you have signed up for it you can use that particular weather api in your project and uh, i just gave one simple example of weather api but there are so many other apis like uh, open ace uh, chat gpt api where you can directly get access to the chat gpt so just think about it uh, you're going to create one input form uh, where anybody can enter anything uh, and they can send uh, or they can ask for any kind of question uh, and immediately that question will be given to chat gpt api and it's going to return some kind of answer to you and then you are going to make it display on your application so how cool it is building one application using some other api and it is going to get integrated into your application and the person who is using it will have no idea that how it is working but you know that you are using some kind of api in order to make it work so this would be really fun project and i'm sure that you are going to build it and you are going to have lots of fun by sending it to your friends and all third type of project i would like you to build is uh, build one large scale application so what is this large scale application in a crud you are going to build one simple page and you are going to perform four operations pretty much in it but in large scale application uh, there will be lots of uh, things which are going to get involved here it's not just crud uh, there will be some payment related information uh, there will be some other authentication information just consider one uh, e-commerce application where there will be lots of things in it and people should be able to log in into it people should be able to place the order and people should be able to make the payment and admins should be able to receive that particular payment information and the order information so all these things are involving small small crud related operations but you have to design it in such a way that everything works in synchronous way for example if someone is placing the order at same time the admin should be getting all the order related details so it will be very fun to work with once you are familiar with building crud and getting involved with uh, some other api and all uh. so once you are familiar with these two things uh, it would be really nice to get started with building some kind of large scale project and this large scale project is going to give you lots of knowledge and edge case scenarios which you need to know in order to get a job in really good companies and all because in big companies it's all about solving the problem and if you don't know how to solve certain problem then it's fine you will be able to learn it from somewhere else but if you don't know what the problem itself is so that would be really tough to learn only but when you are building these kind of large scale applications like e-commerce application blog and uh, so many other management systems and all you will be able to understand lots of edge case scenarios and how to fix them and all so that's why building one large scale project is always a good idea in order to get good in coding fourth type of project is uh, build one mobile application so now you might ask like i am uh, a web developer why i should build a mobile application here is the thing in order to get good in web development or any kind of coding related field you should know multiple things like how does one mobile application works and when you are building one simple mobile application even you can build something like uh, getting weather details you'll understand how to actually work with the 
some other platform because in web you can just code and it will work fine with the, any kind of device but actually if you know little bit about android or ios coding you'll be able to even build better application for uh, those particular native platform it will give you access to lots of amazing things uh, which you'll be able to understand once you start with the building application using react native or uh, flutter you can build really nice application very easily also so that's why i would highly recommend you to build one simple mobile application so that you will understand how does one project works in mobile field and uh, you'll be facing lots of problem i'm going to assure you that but you'll learn lots of things which is going to help you in web development also if you are just into web development fifth and final point i would like to give you is whatever you have built till now you need to release it this might sound simple if you think like okay i'll just use netlify and release it but the thing is in order to release some kind of api you can't use netlify you need to use some kind of cloud provider or you have to set up your own hosting so because of this you will understand lots of things about how to release your application in production way so as well as you can use a mobile application and you can release it in google play store and ios store if you can and releasing the application is going to give you motivation to build even more projects most important thing is without releasing your application other people won't be able to use that so you need to learn how to release the project whatever you have built and also it's going to serve a nice portfolio for your job prospectors or if you are just doing freelancing it also serves their purpose so because of this whatever you have built you need to know how to release it so that you will have a complete idea about how how does one project works from start till the end so that's it for this video guys if you like this video don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel and follow me on instagram so see you in the next video bye bye